Hey all, Rusty Arbor TV, welcome, check it out. We're in Quartzsite. Look at all the motorhomes on the right. We are two days away, and I mean two days away for the big tent show. We're gonna go back here and take a quick peek. They got hundreds of motorhomes, fifth wheels, this is RV country. They're fully set up and staffed and getting ready to show them uh, RVs. They're fun to look through. I gotta pick up my pass here so I can get in, so I can film all this stuff for you guys. They're getting all the banners up, all the outside stuff. Look straight out, there's Tyson Wells. All the vendors are setting up over there for the Cellarama. The Cellarama and the big tent are going conjunction. It just makes one massive event. They got all the flags flying on top of the tent. But isn't that cool, huh? And check this out. We got a sneak peek. Look what Electric's doing. Six ninety nine, seven hundred bucks for a brand new electric XP 2.0. Seven hundred dollar show special. They're bringing in a truckload of these things. Matter of fact, we'll go to Tyson Wells. I'll show you what one looks like. And right here is Kewen Street. Cellarama, there are dozens, I mean, probably hundreds of vendors setting up right now over here. All different from the first show. Okay, let's pull on in. Right here at the game store, we got a raffle going for a brand new electric 2.0 as well. All the money goes to the food bank. But come on inside, uh, I'm going to show you what the electric 2.0 looks like. Game stores open 8 to 6 every day. Here's your electric 2.0. We're raffling one off. All proceeds, every penny goes to the Quartzsite Food Bank. It's all for charity. Thank you, Electric, for furnishing the bike. You get a sticker if you buy a ticket. So be sure to stop by the big tent. They're gonna have these on display. They're gonna be selling them for $6.99. That's unheard of. You can buy an electric bike, brand new, just like this one. It's got all the goodies, the big tires, the brakes, the battery, I mean everything. Foldable, RV friendly for $6.99. Plus they're gonna have their trike and all kinds of good stuff. But there's all the tickets. Come on down and get you a ticket to win a bike. Well, let's go have some fun. We got the dusty nugget out. It's a little chilly, but the rains. Look at all the water uh, puddles. It's been pouring rain here. And I mean pouring. But we got blue skies now. They say the storms are over with. But I thought we'd run up. Pomosa Road, see how busy it is. Might be scouting out for some future campsites next week. Make a left on Central here. There is a continuous stream of traffic coming in town right now. Constant. Oh, also, tomorrow, Friday, January 20th at 11 a.m. I will be at Solar Bills. Come on down. He's having a big seminar. Bunch of the battery manufacturers and reps are going to be giving a seminar all about solar. They're going to be doing giveaways and they got free snacks. So put that on your calendar. That's tomorrow, January 20th at 11 a.m. Come on down to Solar Bills at 630 West Main Street. Okay, we're heading out of town. Plumosa Road's about seven miles north. We're gonna take the dirt road going out. Ain't no way I'm gonna drive the buggy on the highway. It's just 
too fast of a road. This buggy tops out at about 40. I could push it up to 45, but that is very dangerous in a small buggy like I got. The big ones, they can scream up the road like cars, not this thing. But see the power lines? Look at this. There's a dirt road that follows all the power lines. And that's true almost all around all the areas around uh, Quartzite. There's uh, natural gas roads where they got natural gas pipelines. They normally have a road cut through power lines. Plus all the trails, all the marked BLM trails. It's slow, but it's good. Well, I go slow. <laughs> Some of them bigger ATVs, off-roaders, they can scream through here, but to me it's good. You know, with all the recent rains, some of these washes were probably running a little bit. It didn't rain enough to flood, but it was close. The, round, the ground was really getting soaked up. The big cell tower on the left, that's where the refuse uh, station is. We can take trash. You can uh, dispose of your trash for free. Four days a week at Quartzsite. They don't charge anything. Okay, we're almost up. Uh, matter of fact, we're going to check out High Jolly. Oh, here's one of the washes. Yep, no water. Good. These things run like rivers. Be careful when you're camping uh, out here in these areas. During heavy rains, the washes will run. Just be a little bit careful. And the best thing about all the rain, no dust. Yay. So... That really helps. I mean, it's almost like uh, water in the roads before all the crowds get here. Because there are ATVs, off-road jeeps, you name it, everywhere around Quartzite right now. There's usually close to a million visitors that come through here for all the shows. Absolutely incredible. This town just explodes. Hey, hey, we made it up to High Jolly. Look at all the RVs, tents, you name it, they're out there. This is the closest dispersed camp area. It's called High Jolly. It's not the biggest by any means. It's probably the smallest. But it goes way back there. See how narrow it is? But you can see RVs are setting up. Tents. People in cars. A lot of folks have enjoyed the RTR, which is good. I think that's ending already. I think it ended. They had it down the ballpark. Hope everyone had a good time. There's Highway 95. Straight on is Quartzite. But there you can see the dirt road. That we came out on. But look how clean everything looks after a nice rain. That, isn't that neat? Cool. Well, what do you say? Let's head on out to Plumosa. Here we go. Just stay right on this dirt trail. Not too much farther, a couple miles up the road, will be Plumosa Road. If you need propane, any of those type of supplies, don't forget about Patty's Propane on East Main Street. My good friend Devin. Be sure to go ahead and say hi to Devin, get your propane. They got the John's Barbecue set up there now.
made it. Talk about one busy road. <laughs> this is it. Now this road is takes you clear over to Baus. We're going to check it out. We'll go all the way down to the end. Hey, we might look for that quartzite rock sign too while we're out here. There's the official signs. Down here is where you get your pass for Plumosa. They got a camp post here so you can sign in. 14 day free camping. You heard it, free. To me, this is my favorite area. Look at it, it's wide open, flat. You can actually get television reception out here too, off antenna. Courts that you can. A couple motor homes looking for a spot. Okay, here we go. Plumosa Road. Both sides of the road. You can camp. They got it marked. You can only go out so far and then it's all marked off for day use only. Right there is 95 the way we just came in. Not too many people hang at this end. It's noisier with the highway. But we're going to drive down. You'll see it. Look how clean it looks. Perfect. I have friends camping out here. Tom Hobotech. Be sure to check out his channel. Hobotech does all kinds of solar reviews, batteries. He's a good guy. We're going to meet up next week. I'll be announcing that later. But see how flat, see all the big rigs? This is big rig friendly camping out here. You don't even need to level the trailer. You can just park. Okay, we're about out here, a little over two miles, two and a half miles. Now you can see more and more rigs. Look how far out they spread. Here in a few days, you're going to see big groups. They make big horseshoes and circles with all their RVs. Friends, family, all different little groups, rock hunting, metal detecting, you name it. All different kinds of groups. You know, the Quartz Fest will happen. That, they all camp out at Roadrunner, which is south of town. Ro uh, all the ham radio operators, they get out there. There's hundreds of them that set up their ham radio. That's something to see. Maybe we'll try to get out there and film them, too. Everything happens at once. It's hard to cover it all, but we'll try. But look at all the campers out here at Plumosa Road. Okay, we're almost getting near the end of the camp area, somewhere up here. There'll be some signs at market, I'll show you. Here they are. No camping beyond this point. It says day use only. People still camp though. But they're marked on both sides of the road. Okay, well. Let's go find a quartzite rock sign. That's out past uh, mile marker 6. I want to get off his pavement. 
Now there's more dirt trails you can follow. Also out here you connect with that Sunkiss Trail which will take you back. That's part of the Peace Trails out through here too. Arizona Peace Trail. See there's a few campers. Those mountains straight ahead, that's uh, Quinn Pass. You go over those mountains and uh, it takes you over to Bouse and there's over 12 miles of BLM camping which is absolutely gorgeous over there. That's where you get all the spring blooms. Speaking of all the rain, guess what? Probably about end of March, first of April, depends how quick it heats up. There's going to be wildflowers everywhere this year with all this rain. Yeah, I got to get back on the pavement, not too much farther. We look for mile marker six. And probably about a quarter mile past that will be the quartzite rock sign. And I think this is my pull off here. We just passed mile marker six. It's off to the left. Don't worry, you'll see it. Yep. That little fenced off area is part of it. But this is the quartzite rock sign. These markers were put in, oh, early 1900s when they used to have air mail. Also, uh, training for pilots back during World War II before they had towers and radar and all that. They're markers and it showed uh, directions. Which way was north, all of it. So the pilots uh, could find their way back to a runway. Quartzsite had one. Vicksburg had one. They're all over the desert. Very few remain. Look at the mountains. Huh? Isn't this gorgeous? This is why I like Plamosa Road. This is my absolute favorite place. A few little RVers down there boondocking. But as far as you can see, it's just wide open desert. Hundreds of miles of off-road trails. Once again, it's part of the Peace Trail system, which you go up through Baus, it goes all the way up through Lake Havasu, clear up to Kingman, all kinds of stuff. One more look at the quartzite rock sign, so we can find our way back, huh? <laughs> Isn't that cool? History. Well, don't forget, Friday, solar bills, 11 a.m. Then Saturday, I'll be at the Big Tent Show, right at Electric Bikes booth. Be sure to come down, check out the electric bikes. Also, stop by Tyson Wells Game Store, sign up for the raffle for the free electric bike. Two bucks a ticket, not bad. Every penny goes to uh, charity. Portside Food Bank. Once again, thank you to Tyson Wells. Thank you, Electric and Solar Bills. Journey continues. Talk soon.